team ever come true? Will my team ever come Uncomfortable in this house. Huh? Hey, Davy! Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, hey is this? Hey, Who is locking you badly, mom? You won't understand. I won't understand. <laughs> oh, mom, you are older than me. Oh, I won't understand. Get up, since I won't understand. Go and fetch water for me. Now I don't want you to be going to the stream late at night. Huh? You know it's getting late. Mm -hmm. huh? Go. I don't want you to be late, bro. Okay. Go, go fast and come back. Wonder if this is my face. Mm. I'm very, very tired. This long way journey. No, I'm just telling you. No. I need oh. to rest. You used to hear uh, from David's mother, my, my little daughter. Yes, the time I saw her last, uh, she's fine. Okay, good. Please tell her that I agree to. Well, when I go back. Yes. Uncle! Mm. Yes. Yes. How are you? Fine. Uh -huh. What did you buy for me? Hey! I'm going to try you. I'm going to try and buy biscuits. Just biscuits? Don't drink bread. Bread? I didn't buy bread. Okay, let me take this one back now if you don't want. Hmm? Because I can see you are greedy. No, I'm not greedy. It's just that I like bread. Mm. Hey, uncle, what about my parents? You don't need to hear from them. Even this biscuit is from them. But Tonk, have you eaten? No, my daughter, I have not eaten. Just Go and get me food. Yeah? Okay. And get me food. I'm going out on the floor. Okay. I'm going to go out on the floor. I'm going to go out on the floor. I'm going to go out on the floor. Liver. Liver, you change. I'm going to go out on the floor. No, it's dry season. Oh, okay. Keep on acting a mighty guy. With this my dream ever come true. With this my dream ever come true. Will my dream ever come true? Will my dream ever come true? It's all I'm asking. Baby, why are you like this? Staying alone. David, talk to me. Why is it sometimes you are happy, sometimes you are sad? What is it again now? Tell me. Okay, you won't understand. I won't understand. Is it because I have not married? No, that is not what I meant. Uh -huh. What I mean is, I really want to go to the city with my parents and study there and fulfill my dreams. Your dreams? Yes. At this age? We have started dream. What if you grow? What will happen? You see the reason why I say you won't understand. I kept on having these particular dreams, which I know that I would achieve in this village. You won't achieve in this village. Yes. Baby, what are you inspiring? I really want to go to the city and stay with my parents and fulfill my dreams. That is all. Mm, what about Mama? Who will stay with her? Mama can come with us. But you know that she refused to follow us. Eh? Maybe until she dies. Yeah. 
you will kill her. No, it's not what I'm talking about. Enough of that. Look for something reasonable and talk. Where do you think you are going? To school. You are going to school. What did I tell you? Eh? I told you that we are going to harvest our cassava. But my cassava is already due. Eh? And you want to go to school in Agu Cambridge? Eh? I'm, I'm going to go in here. Mate, you are yes. not even going at all. You are talking about me. Eh? Go inside and remove your school uniform. We are going to harvest. But if you don't have this thing today, are you not going to have this thing tomorrow? No, we are going to suffer a bit of damage. Okay, Grandma, look at what I want to do. You are going to do your own part in this morning. Then if I come back in the afternoon, I will do my own part. You want me to leave you in the bush? What if they kidnap you? Can you my call your mother? Eh? They will tell you that I'm not taking care of you. Okay. You are going with me. Okay, if I come back in the afternoon, then two of us can now go. I don't walk under the hot sun. I have to raise money. Your, your, your hair is even old. Look at the way you are covering it to go to school. I need to give you money to plate your hair so that you look fine. If your mother come here now, she will say I'm not taking care of you. Go, let's go and walk and get my cassava and go and sell them. You can leave the harvesting weekend. You can start from morning to evening. If we don't, we don't do it today, will anybody die? Nobody is going to die. Not even you, not even me. But my cassava is going to suffer a lot of damage. Eh? <laughs> so I don't want it. I need some money. Oh? Mamkaba. Hey, Baba. In a good bridge. Children of nowadays, they don't need to help their parents at all. When I was in my own schooling, eh? Why not go now? Come now, here can bridge your hand. Look at that. Eh? They used to tell us, help your mother at home, help your father at home. Oh, you didn't cousin me. When I get to here, maybe shall I? Davy, you may shall I? Hey, Grandma, I am going to school today. Hello, Grandma. Have you eaten? No, I don't want to eat now. I'm getting late. Devi, um, yes. What is that again? Guy, you know your grandmother. Can you stay with me just for today? I'm not feeling fine. I have been absent for three days. When I was going, my cousin told me that why am I no more go coming to school? I don't want. I don't want to lose this today's school. Since I was been telling you, let's rest. Every day you're taking about your cross. Now look at your condition. It's not my fault that I'm sick. It's call of nature. Please, get the medicine for me. If you go now, who will cook for me? I'm going to die of hunger. Eh? My medicine have also finished. Please, get this thing for your grandmother. Please. Your medicine have finished, isn't it? I have told you, tell without number. Let me go and get medicine at the chemist. You refuse. Now look at your condition. Please, don't punish me. I'm no longer thinking straight. I'm old. Oh, I'm... Help me go to my okay? And get the medicine. Ooh. Okay, I'll cook for you. I'll be the medicine for you. I'll do everything for you. Let me just go and change my food. When I think of what I'm going through, seems I'm losing all my hopes. Yeah. I wonder if this is my best. 
This one you are washing all your clothes. What's that? I'm watching for a purpose. For a purpose? What purpose? Uncle, I I don't want to stay in this village anymore. I want to go to the city. I'm not tired. And you think it's possible without my permission? Uncle, please. Reason with me. I really want to go to the city and fulfill my dreams. I have a very big dream to achieve. Mm, big dream? Yes. We shall best achieve in this village. Mm. Okay, I have you. Hmm? I will think about it. Okay, thank you. That's why I say my best uncle. You are happy now? Yes. Baby, this is my fate. Just know I'm gonna change it. I will never accept the beat. That's why I'm asking God. Will my dreams ever come true? That's why I'm asking God. Will my dreams ever come true? Oh yeah. David! David! Yes, Papa, I'm coming! What are you still doing there? Huh? Be quick! I have a pack of messages. I want your Look, listen to me. Eh? We were supposed to be the first people to attend to. It is first come, first serve. And you know I will still go to work today. I hope you know that. Yes, Papa. To uh -huh. where? Ah. To that school. I said you are going to register me today. David. I have told you time with that number to stop Papa Lemmy. me. You are no longer in the village where you answer Papa and Mama. Here is city. Be civilized for once. Okay, Papa, I've heard you. Oh, sorry, Dad. I've heard you. Just call me the next time. I won't call you a pig. I won't Papa you again. I cross your toes. Listen to me. Listen carefully. If you like, cross your toes. If you like, cross your hand as you cross it now, or cross your leg. I don't care. Do you get me right? Yes, Papa. Oh, By the way, you. where are you putting on this? Huh? Eh? Come on, guy, change this cloth. Agi, Agi, one more. Sugar. Ah, oh, this one. Change this cloth, please. Ah, oh. didn't you see her? Don't you know we are going? We are going to school. Um, Davy, you are wearing my clothes. I sure you pass the interview. If you can, I'm can enjoy it. How will I know whether I'll pass it or not? It's three o'clock now. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to me again. I've told you this time with that number. Every time you need to go to you need to go to I think you change the clutch. You are out of the house. Let's go. Can you imagine? Every time you need to go to Kanda, you need to go to Kanda. Look, I will still go to work today. Will my team ever come true? Will my dream ever come true? Will my dream ever come true? Oh, 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 Excuse me, teacher. Good day. Welcome, sir. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. A uh, place we are here for registration. Oh, the HM office is just down the hall there. When you get there, turn by your right. There is a door there. Just knock. Okay. Uh, what's your name? I'm Miss Doris. Oh, Miss Doris. <laughs> what a wonderful name. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Thank you. Um, uh, excuse me, Miss Doris. Is there any problem, sir? Um, no, no, that there is problem. Only that um, I had wanted to give you something. You know, here is Nigeria. <laughs> but I'm very, very sorry that I forgot it at home. Oh, don't bother yourself. Thank you all the same, and you're welcome to our school. It's all right. Thank you. Bye. Dad, you don't really have money the first place to give. You see the reason why I called you, Papa. You are too old to answer that. Listen to me. 
even if I'm too old to answer daddy, I am too smart to answer papa. Come here. Now, let's head to the HM office. Seems I'm losing all my hopes. Yeah. I wonder if this is my... So, sir, how may I help you? Um, there is nothing much. I just came to see for an admission for my daughter into your school. Your daughter? Yes. David by name. Um, if I may ask, what happened to her previous school? Oh, nothing. Only that um, she was staying with my mother-in-law at the village. So, um, later my mother-in-law died. Then we have to bring her back to the city to stay with us and start schooling. Sorry, sir, for your mistake. Oh, thank you. Um, are we going to get that mission? Mm. What class is she in? Um, elementary four. Basic four. Oh, <laughs> whether basic or, or elementary or, or whatever, as long as. There is for insight. They are all the same. So, um, madam, what then are we going to do? Well, nothing. How do you mean? I don't understand because I think something has to be done. Something like what, sir? Are you trying to teach me my job? Well, how can I do that? Do you want to take over this seat? I'm, I'm already sitting on my seat. I would like to take over. No, 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 no. What do you want? Do you want to take over this seat, sit down here and run this school for me? Uh, why? What do you want to do in my office? Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure you are here to seek for your child's admission or you're here to look for a job? Excuse me, ma. With all due respect, my father is not jobless. Exactly. I'm not jobless. What insolence. Oh my God. Who invited you into this discussion? Your daughter is arrogant. Are you sure you will be admitted in my school? Yes, ma. But please don't give me entrance examination. Why won't I give you entrance examination? Even the teachers I employ here, I give them entrance examination, I interview them before I employ them. That is exactly what I'm talking about. You have to examine them, and two, you have to pay them. But I'm the one to pay you too. I'm trying to save you. To save me? Sir, your daughter is insolent. Huh? Yes. Is this the way she behaves? Please, sir. What's that your name again? Oh, <laughs> my name is Matt. Uh, please, um, uh, don't mind my daughter. She's just a kid, please. Yes. Did you hear that? I am the only daughter of Smart, so I'm too smart to be tested. What an insolence. It's not an insolent, ma. It's a prophecy. And then make it clear. If you end up giving me the question paper, you'll be tempted to give me scholarship after making my question paper. So, and you'll be losing one person's payment or ten. So, the prophecy say there shall be no loss. You are too smart to be tested. Yes. Well, we'll see about that by the time you finish writing my exam. Why did you say all that to the head Do you want her to suspend you before you enter? Leave me, Dad. I told you I'm smart. Can't you understand what I'm trying to do? I have to threaten her not to give the test because if she does, heaven knows I won't get it. I won't pass the exam, so. And even you, Dad, you know it. 
those things I see in Hashem office make me scared. I can't even read it out. I don't imagine how the things will look like. I can't even read, you know. I was still in the village. I have to bring out with something that will eradicate my fear now. Hey. I really want to read in that school. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Your father born you. I took care of his it, so I'm the only daughter of smart. Give me five. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Listen to me, eh? It was in those days they used to say, eh? like daughter, like a mother. Like uh, uh, father, uh, father, like son, but this time around, like daughter, like a father. When I was in my vision school, I used to answer all the questions my teacher asked me in the class. Sometimes I used to answer the question before the teacher asked it. Is that so? Don't thought I'm joking. I'm not. Who is talking that rubbish? It's me, any problem? Look, I am not people like you who brag all the time. And I've also met people like you with a table who talk a lot like a Tajijian girl like me. What? Shut up! I don't invite you in this conversation, so mind your business, okay? Mm -hmm. As I was saying. Good day, Master! Uh -huh. Good day, baby. Get seated. I heard that we have a new person in our midst today. So who is the person? It's Lisa. So what do you say to her? Yeah, yeah welcome. welcome. Okay. Get seated. <coughs> uh, we are going to revise our previous lesson before going to the new one. So who can tell me 18 minus 11 plus 24? Oh. The new student, he knew it already. Sir, you don't know her very well. She's very intelligent. She answers all the questions even before you ask. That's how her brain works. She must be intelligent. Okay, let me hear from you. The answer is 58. 58? Keep quiet, please. She is not decided to look at this. Friend, how are you? I don't really want to talk to anybody right now, especially you. I want to stay alone. A lonely mind is a devil's workshop. What that so fun that is? What did you mean? It's not good to be alone. Tell me, what's the matter? This is your first day at school and you're not enjoying it. How do people know so much everything as little as so are? Your English is well polished as well. That's one. This is the best school in town. Come to think of it, you told me that you are very intelligent. How come you failed the question in the class? Forget about it. I'm talking about the opposite. Can't you figure it out? You heard the arm humiliates me. I am going up according to the information I got from you. That one is a fake information. Please, can you just teach me how to speak well? That is the teacher's job to do, not my job. But since you are my friend, I will assist you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hello, children. Good morning, teacher. I hope all of you have already know my name. No need of explaining myself to you, all of you, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. If we check the timetable, what is our first lesson today? Teacher, it's mass. Is today Monday? Yes, teacher. Oh, I'm having serious headache. I don't even know how to calculate right now. I don't even know why I choose to teach instead of work as a nurse I study in school. Huh. If we check again, the next lesson is what? Teacher, it's home economics. Better. Now, children, bring us your home and start reading after. Yes, 
start writing it to sign that thing. Understand? Yes, I want to pray now. So I don't need any disturbance from any of you. Okay. Start reading that in your mind, okay? Next time. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Now get out of my side. Nonsense. I don't even know why this girl keep on disturbing me in this school. You don't came here because of you. Just go baby next time. See what I'm going to do. Uh -huh, Devin, what is that if Do you know that Miss Judith, our new teacher, she likes sleeping a lot? It's your quarrel, can't join you. Who do I ask? The worst part is that she's using the name of God to, uh, as an excuse to sleep. Mm. Uh -uh. You know what's funny about it? She thought I'm still a small kid. Every time she'll be telling us, Everybody, she just be a she can pray. Don't mind that. Every day is a thief, but one day is a owner. No, you don't know, you know, get it right. Every day is for the thief, but one day is for the owner. That's why I told you, let's teach me to speak English. It's okay, it's already getting late. Let's go home. Oh yeah, let's go. This girl, you like trouble me in this school. What have I done to you? See, Davis, if you touch me again one more time, if you touch me again, I will punish you. Try it again, you will see what I will do to you. It is not dead. Teacher Judith. Good day, ma. What is good about this afternoon, teacher Judith? It has come to my notice that you are always sleeping in the class. The groupings have been complaining. Their parents have been complaining. But I said, I will let you be until I catch you red-handed. And that is what just happened. You are doing your morning devotion in the school by 12 noon. What happened to the one you devoted yourself at home before coming to school? And the one we did today at the assembly ground? What do you have to say about that? 
No, ma. I was, I, was, I was reading Bible when you just came in. You were reading your Bible? Yes, ma. Mm. Is this a Bible? Teacher, Judith. What kind of denom denomination uses this type of Bible? Hmm? Is this a Bible? Doing the right thing at the wrong time makes it automatically wrong. You don't have any right. It's unethical as a teacher to sleep in the school compound or inside the classroom. No, ma. It's not what you think, ma. I have vision, I have vision about this school. It's a very good one, ma. You would like to hear it. Ma, just save your vision. But, ma, you would like it. Teacher Judith. Yes, ma. Meet me in my office. Immediately. Hashem, just give me sack letter. I'm going to deal with that again. I will punish her. I make sure I'm going to deal with her. Compliments, class. Good morning, school. Good morning, children. How was your night? We are fine. It was good? Yeah. And you're happy to be in school today? Yes. That's good to hear. Before you is your new class teacher. Her name is Miss Rose. Miss Rose will be replacing Miss Judith that just left on suspension. Miss Rose will be with you. She'll be teaching you until your main class teacher, head teacher Doris, comes back from her leave. I hope you will not give Miss Rose a problem. Yes. Please don't give new teacher Rose problem. You will all be good children. Yes. Okay. <coughs> I will even meet your pockets. Thank, Thank you, Ma. You can see. Hello, children. Hello, teacher. I want you to introduce yourself to me since you all know me, okay? Okay. I want to start from you. Young lady, what's your name? My name is Ebibi. Wow, Ebibi, what a beautiful name. And you? My name is Chizara. Hmm, Chizara, I love your smile. What's your name? Unashi. Wow. What's your name? Daisy. Oh, Daisy, what a beautiful name. Why are you so moody? I'm happy. Are you sure? It was a name. Ify. Uh, what's your name? Chisi. Hmm, it's a beautiful name. It's my smile boy. What's your name? My name is David. David. Hmm, I love your dimples. And you, what's your name? Pio. Okay. That's very nice. Mm. Before I start my teaching, you have to spend me just some minutes, okay? Let me eat. Let me take my breakfast. I'm really finished, okay? Teacher, it's highly prohibited in this school. What do you mean? Teachers are allowed to eat in the staff room during the break time. It's the school room, so you cannot lose your job. Okay, you have not even given me any award for trying. Don't you see how you are shining this time around? Me, I'm even trying. You are trying supposed to. to give me an award. Though. But I'm trying to now. What are you trying? Okay, I award you this thing. I will show you a picture when you came in the early. <laughs> when you look at yourself now, uh, you understand. Uh, that <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, my and baby, you're back from school. Yes, guess what? You are highly excited. What? <clears throat> Let me tell you now. Do you want me to tell you? Go ahead and tell me. The Hesham has suspended that teacher that likes sleeping too much in the class. No! You teach her now and they know us now. Do you want to know her name? Uh, what's her name? Do you really want to know her name? Of course, I would like to know. Okay. Her name is Miss Rose. Miss Rose? Yes. You see, that is why your school is the best school. Hmm? 
Your teacher does not tolerate evil. She did what is right. How can somebody who called herself a teacher be sleeping in the class all the time? No, oh, no maybe she's she's sick. Ah, uh -huh. Listen to me. What does so funny? Look. Sick. You never can tell. No, listen to me. I get one more. Even though if she is sick, she should go to the hospital and get treated. Not deceiving the people that were trusted onto her hand. Oh my god. Mom, please don't support him. They say don't ever in your life support him. You know why? Is it because of your single partner in crime who always sleep in the class? <laughs> David, have you forgotten that I'm your mother? Of course. <laughs> I haven't forgotten that you are my mother. Again, again, listen to me. Let us tell ourselves the truth. The only difference between you mm. and the teacher she's talking about mm. is that you sleep your own at home. Mm. Yes. And what if you teacher get there now? I'm okay now, Papa. Yeah, I'm okay now, Papa. Hey, mom, let me start for you now. Mom, say the truth now. Maka wadi ga aku felu si bila si. Yes. Are you working sluggishly? Despite the fact that you are coming late to school. Madam, I'm so sorry. You saw that I've been working for so long. I might do this. I, I understand. Um, maybe next time you come out on time so that you can make it here on time. No problem. I will do that. Young lady, what's your class? I'm in the short term. Who that should be six? Don't mind her, she's in basic form. What do you mean I shouldn't mind her? She's my baby. She's the reason why I am here, so I mind everything about her. Moreover, she's old enough to know her class. Are you not? Don't you know your class? I know my class. Yes, you heard her right. You see, madam. We just relocated to this city last year, and I enrolled her for holiday lesson in this school. It is true, I put her in basic six, but every assignment given to her, she must cause them. Then I demoted her to basic five, or to no affair, until she landed in basic four. That was when she started scoring a uh, two, three, or five or over ten. That's why. Right. You see, I don't understand. She's the new yes. Okay, okay. You heard what your mother said. You don't know anything. There's nothing in this big brain of yours. Uh, yes, there are a lot of things in your brain. Like a lot of food in your stomach. A lot of biscuit and sweets in your hand. Hmm? Yes, I know. That is it. Let me warn you. If you enter this new class basic four and you don't do very well, I might demote you back to basic two or one. Oh. Well, what I want you to stop calling me. I want to. Eh? Continue eating. Pack every food inside the system. If you like, don't study. Anyway, ma, you may go. I will take her to her new class. Oh, thank you.
morning, children. How are you today? We are fine. Thank you. And you? I'm fine. I'm very fine, as you can see. So I was a nine. It was fine. Fine. Where is your class teacher? She's just gone up to see ladies. Okay, that's good. Anyway, in her absence, I want to introduce to you your new class member. Her name is beautiful lady Chichi. Will you shut up your mouth? Sit down. What is wrong with you? Eh? Anyway, my dear, go and sit down. Tell your class teacher to go and see me when she comes down. I don't want to hear any noise. Um, remember, bring out your math note and your pen, okay? As I'm writing, you are writing. Noise. Hey, sorry. Um, 
one minute. I forgot my lesson notes. Size. What did you just call me? Felt so. Like seriously, don't you know my name? No, I don't know your name. This is the first time that we are meeting. Well, my name is Chichi. Wow, nice name. Thank you. Chichi, nice to meet you. You're welcome. How may I help you? It's not much, it's just a little further from me. You know, I overheard your conversation with my classmates, so I'm interested to hear that again. She. Can you please help me and tell your father? I really want to study in abroad. I really want to fulfill my dream as well. Which dream? I'm not holding anybody's dream. No, that's not what I'm talking about. You see, it's about the scholarship. I'm very intelligent. One, I can ask my mother. Ask your mother. Which mother will say that her child is an illiterate? Rather, they will say that my child is trying. Okay, whatever. You can ask anybody. I have heard you. Um, I will help you on one condition. You have to make me happy first. What? Am I a comedian that wants to make someone happy? I did not say you have to make me laugh. I said happy. Like every time you used to that you come to school, you have to give me your snacks. Aren't you not coming to school with your snacks? How can I give you my own snacks? How do you expect me to come to school with American snacks? This idiot. Sorry. My father, my father used to tell me that besides I'm washing out with Okay, I understand. It's not good to bring a forest nurse inside local um, land. So, you're going to bring a forest nurse and I'll bring my local snack. Don't make anybody to see it before they see it. If you give me your foreign one, I'll give my local one. Is that it? Okay. I can see you're not serious. What? I'm dead serious. What are you saying? Are you bringing your snacks or not? Okay, I will, I will. I will bring it. But let my dreams be fulfilled. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay. What? How can I give her my own snacks? Ever 
This time around, I'm asking you, tell me what is it? This one you are dancing. If I lay my hands on her, if I can lay my hands on this rude girl, she will regret ever missing the day. You only daughter of smart. Who are you planning to kill? Hmm? Tell me, I might help you in killing the person. Dad, I'm serious. I'm not really joking as you can see. I'm not joking because of I'm not happy now. Who said you are joking? Just tell me what is going on. Dad, are you sure that you want to hear this? Why this question? I'm very, very serious. Tell me. Okay, if you say serious. Is that your coach issue? That girl that I told you, she went and deceived me. Claiming that her father is rich than to be an American. She went and collect all my snacks. Claiming that my father is big. is American. She's very, 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 very rich. It's a big house. She has a very, very big house. Claiming that. Then I believed her. Now she's in the same class with me. And she says she goes to fulfill this dress for me. Tell she don't fulfill it again. I don't like this now. David, I manage. Dad, do you ask me to ask anybody? How will I know then? How will I know? Dad, I'm not happy now. As you can see, I'm not happy. Um, I'm very, very sorry. It's a pity. Huh? Take her. But I thought you were intelligent enough to be deceived. Dad, Dad. I'm not intelligent, but I'm smart like you. Hmm. Why would I believe her? She's so poor in looking. Everyone who is in this my shoe will fall into victim. Dad, I'm just trying my best to get scholarship. I don't want you to be paid by school fees, which is difficult for you to pay. Hello. Oh, my daughter. I'm very, very sorry. You see, Peter. Take her. Dad, why is calling this a take her? I want you calling it pity. Which shall am I going to take then? No, your father's heart. Why? To increase your own heart. Because you acted, you acted like a fool. Eh? For giving out your own snacks. And for this reason, listen and listen good. You are not going to eat anything in this house throughout the day. Dad, I thought you were in my side. How can you just call your daughter a fool? Or only daughter a fool? How can you be deceived? Someone else deceived you for something and you gave out your own snacks and you're telling me that you are smart like your father. Like I said before, you are not taking any food in Daddy, please, I could not tell. Daddy, please. Come on, please shut your lips. Daddy, please. Keep quiet. Forgive me. I thought you were with me in this battle. Which battle are you talking about? Now listen and listen to Battle is of God and not of man. And Lily, out of Daddy, my sight. Please. Daddy, Come on, please, get out please. of my sight. <laughs> Can you imagine? Eh? One day, one trouble. I don't know whether to name David after one day, one trouble. Which one will I take?
Ahora que cabrón, hombre. What's the meaning of this? Where is my food? I'm hungry. Where is my food? I'm hungry. You are asking food. me. Food! What's the meaning of this? I'm asking you, where is my food? You are cooking. Instead of you to take good care of what you are doing, you are here sleeping. So, has it been I, 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 I'm not back? This house will be set on fire because you are sleeping. Eh? Even the pot, everything just burn up like that because you are sleeping. At your age, what's your problem, this woman? Eh? Imagine somebody at your age, you are Dad, I did it, sir. Dad, I'm so happy today. That girl called you, she shall apologize to me and say, let us start the friendship again. Dad, why are you silent like this? Did anybody die? Ask your mother. Ask her. I don't even have time. I'm very, very hungry. Mom, please, raise my feet. Answer her. She's asking you where is her food. She is very, very hungry. Go and bring her food. I'm perceiving something. Hi, mom. Did you went to the market and set the food on fire? Oh, wait. At the beginning, I was not back on time. This house will have been set on fire. Eh? She was just sleeping. She was just sleeping. OMG! Is that going to stop for today? Is that going to stop? Jeff, you know what? I want you to do me a favor. I want you to do an investigation. Investigation? Yes. In an empty stomach that you want me to do investigation, am I a police? Am I? No, listen to me. Of course, you are not a police officer. But what I want you to do is for our own favor. You remember that teacher in your class who always knew? Mm -hmm. I want you to investigate that woman because that woman and your mother they might be related either through blood or one word or another. Do you understand? So when you go to your school, investigate, they must have blood relation. Mm -hmm. Yes, father, you are really right. There might be a connection, either maternal or paternal. Blood is thicker than water. Of course, blood is thicker than So, Dad, I am the officer in charge of this case. Easy. Huh? Easy. Easy. That's my daughter. Like daughter, like father. Not like daughter, like mother. It's alright. I will get you for you. You understand me? Yes. Don't worry, next time if you like, set the set the a house on fire because you're cooking. Let's go inside. Set the house on fire because you're set cooking. Set it well well. Uh -huh. <laughs> in this school, but cannot control herself. What's the problem? Why are you shouting like this? You know this is the school premises, and noise are prohibited in this school. Okay, what's the problem? I don't have a problem. It is your fellow teacher that has a problem. This body. That's what she is. I don't understand. So, well, you know this school is one of the best schools in this town, and we don't tolerate any of these things that you are saying. If you don't tell me what the problem is, how will I understand? You are right. Your school is one of the best in this town. And that is why I registered my child here. You know that. Thank you. Uh -huh. Your teacher, one of your teachers here, is gossiping about my family in front of my daughter. And my daughter told me about it. 
gossip. What yes. could that gossip be? <laughs> um, she said uh, that. Uh, in fact, I, I can't even say it. Chichi, who is that teacher that has been gossiping about your parents? Mrs. Mrs. Sukwa. What do you mean if there's any problem? Do you know this woman? Yes. How long have you been in this school? Two weeks. Just two weeks. I'm confident. Please, Miss Soko, I'm so sorry. You know this school will not tolerate such. We are so sorry. I beg you on behalf of the HM. Please, we are sorry. And it's because of you. And because this school is one of the best in this town. Thank you. Did you Sorry. go to your class? Sorry for yourself. Nonsense. What did you do? Please, mommy, I'm coming. Coming. Please, ma, I don't want to see them. Who offered you a seat? Nobody. Eh? What do you want? Good. I want to tell you that this ex mass part you are trying to do now, we shall do something new. <laughs> Who's that your name again? David, right? Yes, ma'am. Are you trying to teach me my work? No, ma'am. No. So, why are you suggesting? Let me tell you. For this Christmas party, we have a committee of teachers that is handling everything to make sure that everything comes out good. I don't think I need your suggestion. All I need from you is for you to go and pay your Christmas party leaving. Do you hear me? I don't need your suggestion. Madam, please. First I hear me. You might like it. I'm all ears. I'm listening. Good. This year. We shall call the baby Christmas instead of Father Christmas. It will be fun if we call the baby Christmas. Then other children will be learning how their fellow children are performing. So that's why we are going to call the baby Christmas. Baby Christmas. Does Christmas have... Are you talking of Santa Claus? Yes, Santa Claus, the little one. Just think about it. She has a point. Little Santa Claus for the children. It's possible. Children might love it. Oh, I will think about it. I will think about it. Little Santa Claus. Where do you think you are going to? You are a joker. If you think I will let you go without giving me the money I asked for. Please. I see, I see you. Please, yeah. I beg you. Eh? Okay. You must give me that money. See, yeah. I'm, I'm going to see my friend now. When I come back, just leave me now, I beg. When I come back, I will give you your money. Please. Please. Don't lie. I will not let you go until you give me that money. We have them here over here. Sansam! Okay, do you know what? Uh, I promise you, when I return, I'll give you your money, please. Yeah, uh, Just let me go. Give me that money! Okay, I, I, I will try to do that. Me, you kill me. I will kill you. I will. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Nemo! <laughs> hey! Hey! This is it. Nah, yeah. Uh, I was even. I was even. Move away, you go. I'm a little I'm a man. Hey, you hey. so. It's good now. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, hey. Chichi. Chichi. I was good. Where are you going? I think you better start your session. Then you go to my grandma's house and you go. 
No, 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 a woman, hey. the man of this house, you are talking to me, like which I said, you. you know that I'm the man of this house. You see, yeah, yeah, before not, you know, you don't, you don't know me, oh, you slapped me. Hey, I will use you and do pepper soup. Look at you, look at you. I'll suck you Don't worry, you have not escaped today. Tomorrow is another day. I will catch you and I will squeeze that on it. You less good for matter, man. Come now, eh? See, eh? All these things that happened, eh? Say, Joko, eh? Forgive me, bro. Don't go anywhere. Go and carry your cup. You have won this bag. Female McHenry, you have turned this house into a person match. Thank you, now, my father. You have peace in this house. Gigi is not like that now, eh? It is not like that. Wait, let's go inside, eh? Let's go inside. I will settle the water for my young family. Come in. You sent for me, ma'am. Yes. Teacher Doris. Ma'am, I sent for you. You're one of the committee members for this Christmas party, right? Yes, sir. There's a new development. Teacher Doris. Ma. I am suggesting that for this year's Christmas party, let us invite a baby Santa Claus. A little child as a Santa Claus. Think of it. It will be fun. The children will love it. And not this old fashioned old man Santa Claus. I think it's outdated. We should do something new, something different. Uh, Ma, your suggestion is okay, but how possible is it? How can I get a baby Santa this time? Teacher Doris. Yes, ma'am. I don't pay you, I don't pay your salaries so that you can stand here and ask me questions. When I give you instructions, I expect results. I'm sorry, ma. Go into the town. Comb the whole area. Search the hook and crannies of this city. Get me a baby Santa Claus. Are you okay? Yes, ma'am. Good. Better still. You can ask the assistance of this your pupil from the village. Devi, ma. Devi. You can employ her, she might be of help to you. Okay, ma. I'm going to take my leave, ma. Go ahead. Let her go and get me a baby Santa Claus. That's her business, not mine. Hmm? Baby Santa Claus. You don't love it. Hey, David, my friend, you're still doing your cleanup. What did they expect me to do today? Today is Saturday. But how do you learn how to do all this work at this your age? Oh. Have you forgotten that I used to help my grandmother in village to okay. wash her clothes? No, no, have you forgotten that she's a village girl? Who? Find this boy in the house. Let no. okay. we don't mind the Indomie boy. We saw him on the way. He decided to follow us. Uh -huh. So tell me, how are you preparing for the Xmas party now? You know, I haven't paid my Xmas party, so I won't come. Hey, yeah, sorry, I'm going to miss you a lot. Oh, da. 
Stop beating me. I hate the person that always beating. Moreover, I have the word finish. So it's not this Xmas party is not my biggest dream. I have a very biggest dream that I have to achieve in my life. So this Xmas party, I don't say it. this my ear again. That is not my dream. Ah, David, better I leave this your dream. Oh. Better I wake up. Because of it, it will be very soon late to ha. Better you better I wake up. Because okay. of me. I'm not involved. Okay, I'll wake up. As you oh. say. Thank you. When the time reach, I'll wake up. Mm -hmm. Better. Yeah. Are you done? Let's go. This is your problem, self. Ah. He looks like a person that have a problem. Are you not the one that is making David to feel bad? Mm, no, come let's go, sir. She's not even going to listen to us again. She is very angry. Yeah, can I have a I have a Will my dream ever come true? Will my dream ever come true? It's all I have seen. It's all I have seen. your Christmas party is fast approaching. Yeah! Okay, okay. okay, if you know you haven't paid your Christmas party lady, you have to go and do so. The earlier, the better for you. Okay? Um, so what is missing? Where is baby? She drove her out from school. She's not in school today. Okay, so... Please tell her not to come to the Christmas party. That's what the headmistress said I should tell her. So if any of you know her house, so inform her, okay? okay. Let her not come. Oh. Let her not come to the Christmas party. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay, have a nice day. Okay. You are going nowhere. See, you are going nowhere. See, let me tell you. 
I'm the man of this house. I decide who to travel, I would want to travel, and you cannot do anything about it. What is wrong with you? <laughs> who says so? You, Ngewa, you are kidding me. Try to stop me now. I will strangle you to death. Huh? Nonsense. You Do kill that. me? Yes. In my own house? Sure, I will involve the police. You want to kill me in my own house? This is a tempted murder. Oh. <laughs> hey. See. This is a tempted murder case. Oh. I have not even handled you yet. And you are talking about the police. So, if I kill you, oh. Let us do it one on one now. Hey. I may and you can. Hey. You see, you kill me. Oh. Stop it. I'm really going mad here. Yeah, what is your problem? Ah, she won't. Ah, you see, she, uh, no, you have seen the example you are trying to. See, see, you can. Eh, hey, hey, eh, see, I'm the man of this house. I'm the man of this house. You cannot do anything to me. See, this, this is the only violence. Leave me alone. You kill me. Don't avoid me, Sheba. You slept good for not someone. Idiot. Ah, ah. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the DJ we have actually been hoping to come. I've been told here with me is Miss Rose. Yeah, I've been producing to you today our head teacher, Miss Doris. Clap your hand as I introduce her to the stage, as I bring her to the stage for you. Clap to the hand. Like I said, that this is the day, the perfect day we have actually been hoping to come to see the performance of our students. Finally, I have been producing to you our almighty help me stress. And I clap your hand as you introduce her to the stage. Yes. That is it. She said she had a surprise. Talking about this school, this school is a place where your where where your child will learn a lot of things, where your where your children will be well enlightened. Oh, talking about this school, this school is not it's not a small school at all. Clap your hand more for our head mistress. Because not an easy. Thank you, thank you. Um, Hello kids! Hello! Hello kids! Hello ma! Are you happy? Yes ma! Are you ready to celebrate? Yes! Are you ready to have fun? Yes! Without taking much of your time, I'm sorry that you'll be a little bit disappointed this year because we have something new coming for you. Yes! This time around is not going to be our usual Father Christmas. The school Christmas party committee have decided to surprise you kids a little. Yes, so this year, this year, you will be celebrating your Christmas party with a baby Santa Claus. Good day, everyone. My name is Miss Rose. So we are going to introduce the Santa Claus now. Okay. Go okay. Um, I will bring in to you our little Santa Claus to the stage.
Ah, maybe Santa Claus. I was actually coming to see you. Your performance was awesome. It was wonderful. Yeah, the children, they were so happy. We all enjoyed your performance today. You only the teachers. We are so happy. Oh my God. I love your performance. You are wonderful. Baby Santa Claus. Um, I hope that next year, if we invite you, you are still going to come to perform for us. Are you? No. Anyway. This is your balance. And now this is for your wonderful performance. Why are you not saying anything? You are too quiet. Are you not happy? Thank you so much. Your voice. Your voice sounds so familiar. I warned you, I told you not to attend this Christmas party because you didn't pay your labor. What are you doing here? Eh? Why do you always like disobeying my orders? Teacher Rose! Teacher Rose! Eh, uh hey, -huh, Nan. It's not me that come to this party. It's the baby Santa Claus. David is at home eating the raw fries and chicken. And I say that I'm David. No, we are siblings and, and we are Ejima. So, I'm Nan, baby Santa Claus. Oh, so this is a food that too much. Eh, uh -huh. how much am I owing you, sir? Huh? Take it. You mean you 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 are using the money I gave you, eh, to pay me for your balance of school fees, and and you are you are. Christmas lady, eh? Eh, uh -huh, now. Nah. It's no longer your money again. It's my way that I perform for you. And don't forget to write my name. David Smart is no longer owing again. Hello, the great teachers of the Mac Academy. It is my pleasure to invite you to this office. Thank you, sir. I will not deny that I have been not following you up or what you are doing. So I decided that I will have an opportunity like this to invite you, to commend you, to appreciate the good and the excellent work and performances you have been carrying out towards this institution. I am very, very happy, full of joy. And I will say, keep it up. Keep it up. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. I know this school, in the time to which we continue like this, will be a school where other schools will be coming to follow, to learn, uh, you, know, you know, to have a pattern. I am very happy with you. Mm? Thank you. Thank you. So, at this time around, there is a very, very important thing that we have to follow. And you know, uh, it's about increment in the school fees. Increment in the school fees. It is right now because it's long overdue. I know our headmistress has been doing everything she can with all the efforts she had, but this time it must be implemented. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, please, sir, don't forget our salary is also due for increment. Yes, sir. Teacher Doris, who are you to talk when I'm here? I'm sorry. Eh? You should have allowed him to finish speaking. Sorry. He's getting to that. The boys, I know that. I am working towards that. Hmm? I have in mind that one thing I say that I appreciate 
You have been doing so wonderful. So, uh, what you have to do is to make sure you sacri let notice to the parents so that they will start paying. It's not when they pay, they will be able to pay you people. <laughs> make sure it is done. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Yeah. I'll do that immediately. Okay. Um, teacher Faith. Yes, ma'am. Please go to the school secretary. Tell him to get the newsletter ready so that the pupils can go home with it. Yes. Yeah. With the new school fees and uh, increment. Increment. Good. Yeah, I have already given it to you. Nice. <laughs> uh, one of the reasons I called you here is because your daughter is emotionally down. I don't know the reason. Ah, what is it? I hope Gigi has not done anything. No. Nothing, no. But the question should have been directed to you and your husband. What is it that you're doing to her that is causing her this emotional trauma? She has not been performing well in classes. Hmm. With all due respect, ma. I love my daughter so much. More than anything else in this whole world. I can't do anything possibly to hurt her. If you say so, she's at the school uh, clinic. There is no problem. I will do as you advise her. Okay. Um, it's okay. One more thing. Concerning the school fees. <laughs> there is no problem. I will do that next one. Huh? Oh, Thank you so okay. much. Thank you for your time also. No problem. Please, please, please. Uh, school cleaning. Don't just start the whole thing. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Will my dream ever come true? Will my dream ever come true? David! No wonder she put down at school yesterday. David! Oh, oh, please, get me. What is it? Why are you not eating your food? Uncle, you know, she shifted at school yesterday. And she's very sick. Also, I was too poor to come to school because of our new payment school fees. Mm. I have been struggling for myself mm. to pay my school fees. Uncle, oh, is it my destiny to cut up for myself? Mm. No, it is not. Sometimes in life, you have to face so many challenges in order to achieve your social relevance. Are you getting it? Are you really talking about my dreams, Uncle? Of course. Is it really going to come to pass? Ah, yes, of course, it will come true. Listen, yeah, what I have to tell you today, don't skip Lent, keep on working hard. It will surely come to pass, okay? And as for your friend Chichi, she will soon recover. Just know that sickness is just a call of nature, okay? So, it's your food, okay? Thank you, Uncle. Now, I'm tired, I'm very happy now. Mm. And I see my own practice. Okay, so don't be killing yourself with so so thinking. Your destiny will surely come to pass. Okay, so eat your food. Okay. Good day, ma. Ah, good day, teachers. Where are the rest of you? Ma, you know how these children are. They are in their classes with the kids. Yeah. Ma, whatever it is, just let us know. We are all here. She's right, ma. No, no problem. In that case, let me not waste much of your time. The school proprietor just called me. He said a friend of his needs children that he's going to use. And advertise a product. Wow, so, uh, yes. that's really great. So, he wants a school that will organize a beauty project for him 
he is eager to sponsor whatever it will cost wow. to, to wow. make the beauty pageant happen. <laughs> Understand? Yes. Yeah. So our school proprietor now told him that his school is equal to the task. Yeah. But I want to ask you teachers, can we do this? Yeah, yes. sure. What are we here for? Well, we come uh, very well. We are well, prepared for it. Really? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma you mean I can count on you? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma well, in that case, I will go ahead and call our school proprietor. I will tell him that we can handle it. Okay. Meanwhile, go back to the classes. Think of what we need. Whatever we need, what the school needs, what the student pupils need. Anything that is going to take us to make this beauty pageant happen. Think of it. Write it down. Send it across to the head teacher. She will deliver it to my office. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Sure this idea will work? Yes, it's going to be perfect. We are doing some of projects in our school. Oh, that's why you people here are so intelligent. I see. Baby, I wanted to tell you something all along. Hope it's something nice. Mm. What a busy body. Hey. Um, if you say what you want to say. Baby, I know I should to put them out in a serious matter. Only what she knows is nice. You want to ask me a question, isn't yes. it? It's yes. just that. Good. It's too hard for me to say. Oh yeah, go on. Despite being so smart, why are you not intelligent? And my granny don't know the value of education. Let me tell you why. Sammy! Yes, Mama! Yes, Mama! Where do you think you are going? To school now. I'm going to school. Where do you think you're going? To school. You're going to school? What did I tell you? Eh? I told you that we are going to harvest our cassava. That my cassava is already due. Eh? And you want to go to school in Agu Cambridge. Eh? I'm already going late. Late? You're yes. not even going at all. We are talking about it. Eh? Go inside and remove your school uniform. We are going to harvest. But if you don't harvest this thing today, are you not going to harvest it tomorrow? No. You are going to suffer a bit of damage. Okay, Grandma, look at what I want to do. You are going to do your own part in this morning. Then if I come back in the afternoon, I will not do my own part. God bless you. You want me to leave you in the bush? What if they kidnap you? Kefe may call your mother. Eh? They will tell you that I'm not taking care of you. Okay. You are going with me. Okay, if I come back in the afternoon, then two of us can now go. I don't work under the hot sun. I have to raise money. Your, your, your hair is even old. Look at the way you are covering it to go to school. I need to give you money to place your hair so that you look fine. If your mother come here now, she will say I'm not taking care of you. Go, let's go and walk and get my cassava and go and sell them. You can leave the harvesting weekend. You can start from morning to evening. If you don't, if you don't do it today, will anybody die? Nobody is going to die. Not even you, not even me. But my cassava is going to suffer a lot of damage. Eh? <laughs> so I don't want it. I need some money. Oh? Mom, come on. Stay back, oh? In a good bridge. Children of nowadays, they don't need to help their parents at home. When I was in my own schooling, eh? When I go now, I go now. Here, can build your hand. I go get Eh? They used to tell us, help your mother at home, help your father at home. Oh, you didn't cousin you. When I get here, maybe Shala. Davy, you may Shala. Hey. That is all. Hey, thank God your grandmother died. 
What? What are you saying? You don't see over another person's departure. Is that unfair? This thing, anybody that tries to stop me or stop my career must surely perish. Okay. Okay. Guys. Like seriously, even it is your parents. Shut up! You're not invited here, so mind your business. Wait! It's haven't got into that. Faith can take you to any level. This is not the end of the world. We just be practicing on our research. Tomorrow is the last day of submission, so bring that the book so that we okay. can continue. I will bring it outside right now. Hey, Dave, yes, you're right. You're very correct. <sighs> Shy! Now, wow, what kind of life is this? What have I actually gotten myself into? What kind of daughter do I, do, 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 did God even give to me? Her mates are preparing for the forthcoming contest. I've been teaching her and she can't even pick up. She just has a very dull brain. The only thing she can do is to sleep like a cow. Like mother, like daughter. If not that I, I, I impregnated that woman, I wouldn't have married her. What kind of rubbish is this? I'm tired though. I'm tired. If she wants to fail, let her fail. Fear. Wow. Miss Rose. Yes, dear. Wow. This is you. This is the new Miss Rose. Wow. A new Miss Rose. So. You are back from your suspension after a long period of time. <sighs> my dear, I've learned my lessons. Wow. I have pick up now. No more eating in the classroom. No more carrying out flax. I can't have no room with my flax. Wow, um, interesting. My dear, it's wow. not that interesting, no. Um, <laughs> it's ready already. Where are you going? I'm heading somewhere. Like, I'm going for a meeting right now. So I need to rush there. Like, they're waiting for me, actually. That reminds me. Mm. I'm really happy of what is happening now in our school. Like, it has been long we experienced such a thing. But what is really actually happening? I don't really know. You are not aware of the beauty contest that is happening all over. Oh! Yeah, that's true. It's not only you, like, I'm really happy. Wow. Do you know what it means for our school to organize a beauty contest? Which other school have never done, like? Seriously? It's a really, like, it's a big opportunity for us, though. Hey, do you remember Davy? Davey. And her friends, they are also participating in this beauty contest. Wow, how do you know? Miss Doris told me, of course. Oh. You know, she's among the, um, yeah, the committees among the and also she has the list of all the contestants with her. If David wins the competition, she could, from the money she made from there, settle her debt as well as pay her school fees. Like the way she did during the Christmas party, she used the money and paid for her, <laughs> yes. for her fees. And you exactly. know, like, I'm so corny and... Very funny. Yeah, exactly. But I fear IQ questions for how? Like, that's where you're on gas because that girl doesn't really know like that. So, yeah. Anyway, I think I have to pass you. Yeah, I just feel that God will help her. <laughs> Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the DJ for the beauty pageant. The day we are going to emerge the winner of this scholarship. The DJ is today. I'm calling out contestant number one. Wow. Contestant number one. She's coming. Wow. Beautiful girl. You look amazing. I'm calling her contestant number two. Contestant number two. Where are you? Contestant number two. Wow. Ah. You walk like your father is a soldier. I'm calling on contestant number three. Contestant number three. Hey, don't scatter the floor. Hey, did you leave me? Did you leave me? I'm calling on contestant number four. Hey, this mock mock is very cool with you person today. You people will give that in today. Hey! Jennifer. Wow. Contestant number five. Hey! American Angel. Contestant number five. 
Wow. I'm calling on contestant number six. Where are you? Oh, okay. You are talking about a police officer. Look at himself. Contestant number seven. Contestant number seven. Where are you? Oh, see Rihanna. This is the new Rihanna. Wow. I'm calling on contestant number Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey. What a beautiful engine. What a beautiful engine. Wow. Hey. Oh. What a beautiful engine. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. Hey. We are on this. Okay, there are out for the first outing. Who will be going on for the second outing? This is their final outing. The time they are going to test their ability to know who is going to be a match as the winner of this scholarship. Relax yourself, enjoy yourself. Why I'm coming out contestant number one. Wow. What a beautiful angel. What an amazing angel. Hey, these two very people, you kill somebody today. Wow. I'm going on contestant number two. Contestant number two. Hey. Okay, me. Okay, me. I'm calling on contestant number three. Contestant number three. What is happening? Hey! You really look beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Oh. No follow. I'm calling on contestant number four. Number four. Today is today. Yes, we are moving, we are moving. We are moving. Hey! See me, Yama. Hey! Okay, me. Are you seeing no that all? Are you seeing no that all? This woman will kill somebody today. Today that today. I'm calling on contestants number five. Contestant number five, where are you? Yes. Oh. Oh, what an angel. See angel. Hey. See angel. Hey. I'm telling you people that this student will kill person today. Today that today. I'm calling on contestant number six. Contestant number six. Hey. Oh, give me. This one is not better than the road. You are talking about to be a police officer. Hey! Oh goodness. This one will not press it. Wow! Contestant number seven! Contestant number seven, where are you? Yes, we are moving, we are moving. Wow! Today is today. It is up to you here today. Wow! Hey! Okay, then. Turn left. Hey! This is how we keep us in today. I'm calling out contestant number eight. Wow. Hey! Okay, This is what it is. It's not a small thing. Hey! My day, you can go back to what you see. Hey! Uh, she can work for life. Wow! Hey! My dear! You can dance so! You can dance in it all! Wow! Hey. Wow! I'm calling on from contestant number one to the final contestant to fire themselves while coming down. Wow! 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 wow. Beautiful, beautiful legends! 
Beautiful, beautiful lenses. Beautiful lenses. Yes. Yes, very good. At this point in time, I'm calling on one of the judges. You see the name of Miss Doris to take over the judge. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice to have you all here with the uh, um, teachers and the HM of the um, Ben Smart Academy. Welcome you to this wonderful occasion. Both parents, you are all welcome. We are happy to have you all here. Um, without taking much of our time, um, we bring up and um, let the contestants step out. Contestant um, number one. What is your name? My name is Yudu. When was Nigeria's civil war? My father didn't tell me you. When I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I asked my mother, my mother said that they are married yet to give birth to So how can I know it? Okay. Thank you. Please put your hands together for her. Contestant number two, step forward. Who is the president of Nigeria? Please put your hands together for me. Next person, Chi Chi, step forward. What is your hobby? I don't know. Where does Okay. No Thank you so much. You, uh, you don't know what hobby is all about, right? Guys, what I'm saying is, what do you like to do? What exactly is what you love to do? in Nigeria? 63. Huh? 63. Oh, my gosh. That's six. 36. Please put your hands together for that. The next question goes to uh, Baby. Contestant number eight. How many continents do we have in the world? Ah, mother. Did I offend you? No. Did I tell you not to? Why are you asking me what question? What are you in Nigeria? Oh. Why are you asking me Nigeria question? I know all that. Oh. The man who said that are not true. Okay. Ask a question in Okay. Here is your Nigerian question. What will you do for Nigeria if you win this contract? Um, I hope that it's your pen and paper because I have a lot of tattoos. Okay. okay. Oh, Please. Put down whatever she's asking. Okay. Okay. The first one is is no good to remove children from school because of she he or she not pay schools. Then the second one is that I will beg every student to fulfill their 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 dreams. Thank you so much. All right. Contestant number eight, it's for a reason. Mm. Uh, the contestant number five, I didn't ask you questions. Contestant number five, step forward. Which part of the state are you living in? Okay, that's the state you are staying in right now. 
That's what I mean. Put your hands together for her. Number. Professor number three. What is your father's name? Basil. Huh? Basil. Basil. Basil who? Basil P.O. Oh. Put your hands together for me. Professor number seven. What is your favorite color and why? My favorite color is pink. Why do you love pink? Because pink makes me happy. Pink makes her happy. Put your hands together for her. I hope um, most of you have uh, the judges and uh, everyone put down their first their uh, their scores for these children. So I will call on the HM because I saw you people passing papers to the HM. I will call on the HM, Mrs. Sobebu, to step forward for the final results and let us know who the winner of this uh, today's event is. And I think it was actually to call out the winner. Please put your hands together for our next Mrs. Sobebu. Thank you, thank you so much, all protocols of that. Um, I'm so happy to be here today. This is the grand final of the this year's beauty pageant. And to crown our princess for the night, or our prince for the night, I will first of all appreciate God that made it possible for all the kids to be here this night. I will also appreciate the parents that also made it possible to present their kids the way they are. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the winner says it all. Yes. Okay, and the winner of this year's beauty pageant is no other person than David. <laughs> The cash prize, when you come back to the last piece, come and come to the place. So, present this cash prize, let's wear you the crown. And present! Baby, yes, are you happy? Yes. Please, I want to tell you people that I'm so happy today, especially my father and my mother who always helped me a lot in my study and to all parents who always take to care to their children and support them how my father supports me any challenges that you are facing right now don't give up i am here because of my school fees i haven't paid my school fees is why i'm here so i don't want to fail my challenges that is the reason and to you to you all don't give up God is with you. Oh, amen. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Let us call on our chairman, the chairman of today's reception, our business merchant, the business mogul, our sponsor, our backbone in time of need, Mr. Ben. <laughs> Mr. Obi, 
and so happy and so happy and so happy. Well, uh, baby, please stay forward. Come. Wow. Well, I'm really, 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 really. Well, it's not, it's not an easy task. There's one way that you make sure that I shock me is news. Among all, above all, you said the reason you are here is because you haven't paid your school fees. It's shock me. For that reason, I'm now offering you scholarship to study in America. <laughs> I have a very big dreams to achieve. And you, mom, you don't really need to cry for me. Rather, pray for me. I will always pray for you, my daughter. And you guys, I promise I will come back. You don't need to cry for me. I will come back as soon as possible if I fail doing what I want to do in America. I promise you guys, I won't disappoint you. I cross my heart. <laughs> Uh, David, we are going to miss you so much. I'll miss you as well. Uh, uh, make sure you call us immediately your plane arrives, okay? Okay, I'll really call you. It's alright, it's alright. It's time to go. It's time yeah. to be going. <laughs> Please, I will bless my niece, eh? I come. I thought you, I know you will not support us, eh? Amen. Man, God Almighty protect you and the guide you in Jesus name. Amen. Self journey, eh? My daughter. David. David. I will always pray for you. I know you have a strong heart. I believe that Almighty God will be with you. I miss you. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh yeah. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Come, let's see them off. When I think of what I'm going through, it seems I'm losing all my hopes. Yeah. I wonder if this is my best. Oh, no. I keep on acting the mighty guy. Oh, yeah. With this mighty ever country.